there's always life at the home. And guys, stay safe, of course, right? When you're in a crowded place, if the um, if the line doesn't practice social distancing, don't fall in line already. I know. You either you either fall in line, you either go with the flow, or keep distance. Right? Remember, social distancing is strictly in should be strictly enforced. Okay? If it's not going to come from us, who's going to practice it? Alright? This morning, and, um, me and my sister had to experience a brutal, okay, a brutally long line at the grocery store, right? We had to, we had to scour the area on which grocery store had the shortest line, okay? The last one, the last line we saw was pure gold, okay? It only had, well, we only had a few people in line but we eventually found out that there were no cashiers check no cashiers uh, timing in yet so sinabi sa amin ng guardia na pure gold posita might not uh, has no guarantee of uh, opening today kasi most of the cashiers are coming from Binyang and as you heard Binyang is in total lockdown right now after someone has been tested positive for COVID-19 there. So, uh, yeah, uh, understandable. Okay, understandable. <clears throat> it's a crisis. Alright? It's a pandemic. We're in a pandemic right now. Now, we went back to Robinson Centro Pasita and we found that the line is now shorter. So, binuno na namin. Okay, but it's still brutally long because it had to snake through the snake around the entire building practically but well looking back at it I figured well, seeing becomes a law after after this is over wouldn't it be nice to have a social distancing law alright yeah <clears throat> kanina pa kanina pa naglalaro sa utak ko yung idea ng ganong klase batas eh pero mo well, there are many there are there are there are quite there are uh, really good advantages good advantages to social distancing number one of course you we prevent the spread of disease number one there that's why that's why social distancing is enforced right now kasi we, we're, in, we're in a pandemic okay para iwas COVID-19. But number two, okay, probably the one that will be relevant after this crisis and once it, once social distancing does become a law here in the Philippines, personal safety. Alright? <clears throat> so, one meter. Okay. One meter is equal to three feet, right? Baga, that's more than arm's length. If you're, uh, if you're a woman, social distancing is most beneficial to you. Bakit? Kasi, if the line is too close, may mga, oh, may mga may encounter ka dyan, mga tansingero eh. Right? There are, there are still lascivious people here in this world. Alright? And you might encounter them if the line is very close. With social distancing, there's no chance. There's a uh, nearly zero percent chance of well, getting getting cat called, getting uh, what's called this, getting uh, tagalugin ko na yung hihipuan ka okay, kung, kung kung babae ka okay, if you're a woman now if you're a guy okay, and you've got example 
you're a guy and you've got lots of money in your pocket, okay, with social distancing, well, you can now clearly gauge your, you can clearly gauge if you're in danger or not. Is it three feet, three feet in front of you, three feet behind you. So, you've now created this personal secure space, okay, a three foot radius. If someone um, maliciously enters that security space of yours, you can instantly react. It's not just for guys, not just for it's it's actually for all it's actually for all people. Guy or girl. Or LGBT. Right? You have a three foot radius where you can gauge if someone is already violating your personal space or you're you're under threat it's easy to gauge because three feet three feet in front of you three feet behind you ang dali eh ang dali makalata right <clears throat> especially if you're uh, especially if you're commuting for the first time okay, if you're a uh, your student or a teenager um, going by yourself for the first time it's a good way, right? Social distancing is a good way of protecting yourself, at least. Okay? I think wholeheartedly that social distancing should be a law here in my country, right? Crisis or no crisis, there should be a law on social distancing. Yeah, it feels good, it feels good, okay? Another bonus, okay, a bonus advantage is, well, you get to breathe. You get to breathe more easily, okay? You get to um, relax although you're standing up, okay? You get to, well, of course, you get to breathe more easily without smelling, without smelling the possible odors of the one in front of you and the one behind you, okay? Wala ka maaamoy na babaho. You are free to breathe. Okay? Malaya kang makakahinga ng mabuti. So again, social distancing should be a law. Ano na eh. I was... Uh, the last time I ate was 7 p.m yesterday. Nakauwi na kami 11 quarter. Okay. I only got to eat to I only got to eat uh, 11:45 a.m. Calculate nyo kung ha, kung ilang oras ako hindi ko makain. Okay, from 7 p.m. to 11:45 a.m. That's almost 17 hours. 16 hours and 45 minutes to be exact. I have um reading uh, those lines. And the water was really good. I really thank uh Keto and IF for um for condition for for helping me keep up with uh, should get into the keto diet and intermittent fasting more. Kasi, well, I mean, naman natin o hindi. Nagkaubos lang ngayon ng pagkain. Nagkaubos lang ngayon. Even in the grocery stores. Okay? You can't... I wasn't able to buy my vegetables kanina. Because the shelves were nearly empty. The vegetables that remained there were the ones I don't need. Or the ones I don't usually eat. Even, even, even on keto and IF. People should get into the keto diet and intermittent fasting more. More people should get into those two diet plans combined. The combined keto and IF. They should get into that. Eh, well, it's just my opinion. No, I don't think it's an opinion because everything I may say again, I may say about keto and IF is fact. Kasi practitioner ako. 
I don't have to rely on bread and rice. Eh, bread and rice nga ang madalas bilhin nga sa mga grocery during, during this crisis. Everyone, everyone else should get, more people should get into keto and IF. It's because of times like this. Especially yung mga napoprolong yung fasting mo. They should learn that. They should learn how to get it. They should get into keto and IF like me. So what? Eh, so umpisa naman talaga mahirap eh. <laughs> yung nag-umpisa akong mag, mag-keto, I had, a, I had a difficult time. But after 30 days, he said, yeah, kaya ko to. Alright. Ganun din, when I started intermittent fast, when I started intermittent fasting, yung unang minggo ko, nakihirapan ako. Now, uh, news to it na, I've been on keto for almost a year, about 10 months. Then, for IF naman, I started November. So, November December, January, February, March. Four months na ako. Huwag si six months na ako this April. Ah, May pala. Saba yan. Kito tsaka IF. Isa tong na ako on Kito, six months on IF. It's doing well for me. Okay. Even I, I had to shorten my, my fasting hours right now kasi, um, just to be different okay I shortened it from 16 to 14 to 12 to 14 hours pero katulad kanina naging 16 naging 16 plus hours uli <laughs> alright 16 hours 45 minutes I, I have to breathe the long lines kasi kung um, kakain ako agad ng breakfast pero na tayo na pumunta na kami doon super haba na yung linya lalo ko matatagalan lalo kami matatagalan sa pag uwi you have to be home. You have to. Sometimes you have to rush things. But if you're shopping for groceries, kasi ang, ako ang inaalala ko yung mga sumusunod sa yung mga susunod pa sa akin ang haba pa. So we have to. Uh, what do you call this? We have to. There's your agad. Tok 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 tok. Check out counter. Uwe. app called High Five. Uh, yeah. Does anybody know what High Five is? It's a it's a social app where you get to see someone live, like the live stream. And also, there's also a chat function. There's also a browse function where you want when you get to see uh, yung settings mo if you're katulog uh, man looking for woman. So, puro, puro girls lang ang lalabas doon. Puro girls lang. You get? Especially, uh, may mga settings din doon na location-based. So, yun. Kita. Okay. Now, I actually had a chatmate. Okay. I actually had a chatmate that, um, that I met during uh, a live stream of hers. Binanggit ko, uh, brand advisor ako, uh, vi- YouTube, YouTuber ako. Uy, sabi, uy, marili ko sa YouTube. Hmm, alright. So, after after her stream, I was able to chat with her. Binigay ko sa niya yung, binigay ko sa kanya yung link ng channel ko. And she subscribed. <laughs> she found one of my videos uh, entertaining yung uh, brainstorming while washing the dishes. How Advocacy Friday was born. That's one new subscriber for me. Big deal sa akin yun. Big deal sa akin yun. Now, there's there's a lesson to be learned here. If you are if you are a content creator, okay, celebrate your small victories. Celebrate the small victories because those victories may be literally small, pero kung uulit na uulit at uulit yun, kung madalas mangyari, it can it can stack up. It can uh, it can really add up. Okay, 
You don't have to gain one big victory. It, uh, of your brand. And, yeah, it, may, it makes you more credible. Okay? Probably no one's going to accuse you of being a flash in the pan or a one hit wonder. Okay? I would prefer it that way, yung pa isa isang subscriber na talagang nag-subscribe siya uh, dahil she dahil she found one of your she found one of your videos entertaining. Yun lang. Yun lang. Celebrate the small victories. Especially if you're a content creator. And it's most especially, thank the thank your new subscriber for it. Okay, ako tinake yung siya after it. So, means uh, uh, thanks for subscribing to my channel means a lot. It's that simple. I admit I don't have I don't have that many subscribers. Okay, fifty two as of last count, including yung bago lang yung nakachat ko sa high five. I have fifty two subscribers. But, iniinta ko ba yun? Hindi masyado. Hindi masyado. Because for me, watch time is important. Watch time is the most important. Kasi, well, if no one watches your videos, how, how can you, how can you be in good terms with the algorithm? How can you be in good terms with the YouTube algorithm if no one's watching your videos? Diba? You know what? Um, might as well go to high five right now. Right. Yeah, let's go there. I recently read a tweet that says the Philippine government should release 276 million. It's hiding. That is hiding uh, uh, whatever Chuba Chenes is this. The fact of the matter is, this washout broadcaster is insisting that the government should release money. That the, that the Philippine government should release money to alleviate the fight against COVID-19. Para mo na rin sinabi, tanggalan mo ng benepisyo ang mga frontliners. You know what? As far as I'm concerned, this washout broadcaster should have her brain checked. Yeah, it's a she. But, I am better than her, so I'm not going to say her name here. This washout broadcaster should have her brain checked for COVID-19. Why in the hell would you suggest something like that? Huh? Nababalu ka na ba? 276 million, magre-release ka ng gano'n kalaking pera at a, at a time like this? That 276 million should go to the medical frontliners. And I'm sure the government is doing that. So, well, what should we try to learn here? Politicking has no place in a crisis. Yung mga, opposition, yung mga oppositionists nga, nananahimik ngayon eh. Tapos, tapos ikaw dito eh, na uh, you're trying to tell the government what to do. Ikaw pa presidente ng Pilipinas? Keep your, to that broadcaster, keep your opinions to yourself. Okay? No one is listening to you. Now, <clears throat> In times of crisis, okay, politics should not play a role. Okay? Kahit yung magagano ka lang online or offline, it should not play a role because it's not going to help to, it's not going to help in the fight. It's not going to help in this 
in this war we are trying to win. Yun. Politics should not have a place in a crisis like this. Right? Well, politics has no place anywhere. If you ask, you, you honestly ask me. Politics has no place anywhere. I was just, uh, I was doing the laundry kanina. I was, uh, while I was reading a, uh, while I was reading everybody's book, GoPro. Right. Excuse me. <clears throat> now, it, I don't know, I took a, uh, I took a trip back in time while reading that book. It went, it, it sent me back to the time when I was with another never marketing company, a high end one. <clears throat> and my upline was, um, was about to receive that, uh, was receive an award from that company. So, bilang, well, as an, as an act of thanks, nag siya ng bus wherein he put uh, some of his best downlines, including me, and uh, karamihan doon, mga prospect. Okay. <clears throat> now, well, that, well, it's all cool, kasi I've, I've been wanting to, I've been wanting to attend an event, eh, a network marketing event. Uh, I haven't done, I haven't done that in a long time, so, so mama ako. Then, by the time we went to that event, uh, hey, everybody's feeling good, but may napansin ako, may napansin ako sa mga prospect, parang, baliwala, alright? Most especially, when my upline went on stage to receive his award. Okay, okay, turn on. So, yung mga, kami mga downlines, mga chef, we were cheering for him. Okay, woo! Go, 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 go! Nice one! Congrats! Okay. We were hyped up. <clears throat> samantalang, samantalang mga prospects niya, ay, wala, nakupo lang. Okay, gano'n lang. So, tinanong ko, after the event, I approached uh, one of them. So, sabi ko, Kuya! Ano ba ang, what do you think of this event? Sasali na ba tayo? Kasi medyo, ano ko nun eh. I wasn't that, I wasn't that tactful when it comes to asking marketing questions eh. Sabi niya, oo nga eh. Ito, sagot niya, oo nga eh. Um, yun lang. <laughs> I was hoping he would, uh, he would, he would tag that with another, with another state, with another sentence. Pero yun, yun lang. Oo nga eh. Eventually, I, uh, hindi ko na tinanong sa upline ko kung ano nangyari sa mga prospects niya eh. Pero, because I felt na wala nangyari. None of them signed up. So, <clears throat> what am I driving at? It's not worth the, uh, the energy nor the money okay, to invite prospects to, to company events. It's not feasible. Yun, based on my based on my experience, ano ba wala sa kanila? They don't um, <clears throat> they don't feel the positivity. Go, uh, they don't. I think they're clueless as to what's going on. Okay, yun ang dating sa akin eh. Medyo clueless sila. Siguro if they were if if they've already joined before that before the event, they might have been as hyped as us. They might have been as as hyped as us. Okay. Pira ko rin yata sa upline ko. Sabi ko, um, bakit sila ano? Bakit sila nandito? Bakit bakit kasali sila? Sabi niya, well, it's ang reason niya. It's my way of paying it forward. Oh, sabi ko, oh, I, I said, okay. 
So looking looking back at it now, I think he made a mistake. I think he made a big mistake there. Okay. Oh na. Uh your your uh awardika. But isn't it enough just to isn't it uplifting enough just to bring your best distributors along on that bus ride going to that event? Hindi pa ba kami sapat para mag-cheer sa'yo? At least kami, member na. Okay? Yun yung, yun yung, yun yung, that's, that's what I, that's, that's what I was feeling. So, yeah, looking back at it, that's, that's what I feel now. It's a big mistake to bring prospects to an event. Okay? An event that is, well, predominantly, uh, predominantly, well, members only. Okay? You can invite prospects to that event, pero I don't think you can, I don't think you can convince them to join because of what's happening at that event. Hindi nila magigets. So, well, Bringing, in, bringing prospects to an event is a bad idea. Okay? You might not, you might not, you might not be able to sign them up after it. It's better to well. Well, I know it's I know it's an exposure, pero it's a little bit extreme. Okay, it's better to just. Um, Show them how um, how liberating it is to be in a network marketing business. Show them how good the, the product or service is. That's probably enough. That's, it's more than enough to well to get them on board. Events uh, are a bad idea for prospects. We had another incident kanina regarding sa pila. All right. <clears throat> Technically, as per DILG recommendation, seniors should not go out because of well, because of what can happen because baka mahawa rin sila sa COVID-19. But kanina, we went to Mercury Drug Pasita. Marami na kapila senior. Okay? Now, social distancing is uh, is being enforced by Mercury. Okay? Uh, yun lang ang mainam sa kanila. Now, <clears throat> we were done with Mercury and it's on to Robinson's for the groceries naman. Ang haba ng pila. Okay? As if, uh, as if the line is for for 7 or 8 a.m. It's that long. And, May mga senior pang nakapila. Now, hindi na kami tumuloy. Right? Hindi na kami tumuloy. Pero, hiningi ko sa guard yung number ng customer service nila. Right after we came back home, I called them. Sinabi ko yung, sinabi ko yung hinain namin. And they told me na, why didn't you approach the guard para makapasok kayo agad? Kasi may PWD eh. Kasama ko yung sister ko, syempre. Na special child. So, let's consider the PWD. I didn't know the customer service of Robinson Supermarket are such dumb asses pagdating sa ganyan. Meron pala silang, meron pala silang policy na ganun. Bakit din nila ipinaskill sa labas ng establishment nila? Para yung mga senior at PWD, hindi na pumila. Alright? Hindi tuloy nasunod ang social distancing. Right? Social distancing went out the window again at Robinson Supermarket, Pasita. <clears throat> if you have a policy, okay, if you're a store, if you are a store, and if you have a policy that will affect the welfare of your customers, you should make it public knowledge. Alright? 
It's bad business to keep secret policies. It's bad business, especially in these times. Disappointed ako sa Robinsons. I am fucking disappointed. If you're a college student, you'd probably, um, <clears throat> excuse me, get the idea of what I'm about to talk about. I was going through one of Dr. Uh, Dr. Berg's videos and he talked about, um, what you call this? He talked about the vagus nerve right it's the uh it's one of the 12 it's one of the 12 cranial nerves when you say cranial nerve it directly it directly it directly has roots in your brain much like the spinal cord now enough of that <laughs> i'm not here to give you a neuroanatomy class the way dr bird the way dr berg uh uh what you call this gave that to me through that video <clears throat> It reminded me of how we how we mastered that subject, neuroanatomy. All right. At first, I um, when I first learned that, I didn't I didn't exactly get it right away. Okay, it was only it was only a few minutes ago that I totally get it. <laughs> I uh, enrolled in neuroanatomy class. 1991 all right much has changed in the field of neuroanatomy since then all right but regarding the cranial nerves wow i still remember that i could still remember that the vagus nerve is cranial nerve number 10. <laughs> so to validate uh, i googled it and yes it is the 10th cranial nerve <laughs> now what am i getting what am i driving at here <clears throat> The school system is using one method, all right? Regardless of, regardless of university, regardless of subject, regardless of course, they're just using one method so that you can completely, um, so that you can completely master the, the course you're in. Repetition. Ever wondered that when one class uh you you learn something then in another class you're you you tend to review what you learned in the on that on that previous class you get what i'm saying right there's there are what we call um prerequisites right in order for you to enroll in this subject you have to pass in in this or these subjects all right the reason why the school system is like that because they completely understand what repetition can do to the brain repetition leads to mastery mastery leads to a full education okay now take it outside of the school system this is how humans learn repetition okay so to to cut the roots short okay, so to speak repetition is education if you don't repeat something you can never learn it that's basically it okay I'm several hours removed from what from listening to Tony Robbins' podcast. <clears throat> and he said there that uh, a person shouldn't just uh, shouldn't just uh, absorb the information uh, he or she is getting from any kind of source, actually. All right? He said there that um, if you if you're going to absorb in, basically if you're going to absorb information, you might as well process it in your head and judge for yourself if it's basically um, believable or not. Okay, that guy has that guy that guy has lots of words of wisdom. Don't you, don't you think Tony Robbins? Now, 
in light of uh, of the COVID-19 pandemic, right? There's a lot of fake news going on. And there's a lot of credible news going on, right? Now, as as a person, well, unfortunately, okay, unfortunately, most of us just absorb the information. Just absorb the information we get from from TV, from the net, from from our neighbors, okay, from our friends, from our relatives. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> We're better than that. Okay? We're humans. We have the ability to both absorb and process information. Okay? Now, the bad news about it is that we just absorb. We don't process. We just take it as it is and uh, and hope uh, always hope for the best put someone else put our faith in 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 something uh in something else's hands we do not need that kind of mindset right now okay don't just absorb the information process it i remember my uh, my elent my elementary school teacher uh let's call this school being one of my one of my classmates kasi medyo pasaway medyo pasaway na siguro mga grade 5 or grade 6 grade 4 grade 5 on on and she said uh, one thing that uh, that was uh, sort of profound for me already okay i wasn't the one being scolded here remember it was one of my classmates she said god gave you a brain use it The universe gave us a brain, okay? the most complex brain in existence. If you're not going to use it, you just absorb the information. You're like a computer. Garbage in, garbage out. That's the difference between humans and computers. We can process the information a lot deeper. All right? We are not computers. We're humans. So don't just absorb information. Process it. And judge for yourself if it's uh, if it's credible or not. Come on guys, think. It's the only thing you can do right now while on uh, while on quarantine. While uh, while in a lockdown. Think. So again, don't just absorb information. Process it. What we will click on based on what we previously clicked on. And that's why what Brian said earlier about that. Now, uh, as I post this, uh, uh, this YouTube video I got, uh, it's, a great, uh, it's a great mastermind session featuring Nick Neiman, Roberto Blake, Brian J. Johnson, Cody Warner, uh, the, one, the guy from Live Streaming Pros, and uh, a while ago, Daniel Batal, right? I got this, um, I got this thing in my head, and I, I have it, I want to have it released right now. <clears throat> if action speaks louder than words, then what is silence for? Let me guess. Oh, no, no, just say, let me guess, all right? Let me tell you what silence is for when it comes to that. Silence is a weapon. You can weaponize silence. Because, because saying is true. Action speaks louder than, word, louder than words, all right? It's a great way to psych out somebody, all right? It's a great way to psych out somebody or um getting the other person to talk all he wants right senator ping Lakson once said less talk less mistakes 
Silence is a great way of making that person make a mistake. All right. He's proven that time and again because in his uh, in his committee hearings. Uh, so I'm slowly understanding it now. I'm slowly understand. I'm slowly understanding it. Right now. Right. The silence of my laptop is telling me to continue the video, but I'm gonna I'm going to I'm really going to finish this because I'm actually binge watching YouTube videos right now. Right. I do not want to watch YouTube videos on a Sunday because I'm reserving that for anime. Okay. So yeah, that's so that's my um, that's uh, that's an idea that you should probably take to heart. Okay, silence can be weaponized. Right, you either piss someone off with it or. Do business with it. 